Hello and welcome to video number five. In this specific video, you're going to learn how to set up the product on JVZoo. So with that said, let's go ahead and go to jvzoo.com and I'll show you how to do just that. All right, so now hop on over to jvzoo.com. And before you log in, you need to think, okay, I've, I've looked through the product vendor checklist. I have my files ready and I'm going to sell a one-time product. It's not going to be a recurring monthly product. So there's no need for a trial offer and this and that. Once you understand exactly what you want to do, now it's time to log in. So click on log in. And if you haven't created an account yet, go ahead and create an account. And then once you're logged in, click on sellers. And of course, make sure you update your account and this and that. And simply click on add a product. Okay, so you'll notice that all the information that I showed you in the vendor checklist is in here. And at this point in time, I know exactly what I need to do so I don't have to pause and wait. So right here, allow sales or not that just makes basically means do you want to activate your product or not so in this case I'm not ready to make it live yet so I'm gonna click on no I'm not ready to put it into to the marketplace just yet and the launch time let's say that uh, today is October 12th 2012 and that's it and let's say that I'm gonna launch it on the 31st so we've got that there we got product name here I'm gonna say easy or let's see graphics 101 video course we got currency you can do US dollar Australian euro Japanese yen and pound in this case I got US dollar product price I'm only selling personal rights access, so it's $7. Uh, commission percentage payout, I'm going to say 75% since it's a low number. And that's one thing you got to remember. If it's low number, affiliates may be hesitant to promote your product if it's a lower number. So if it is a lower number but it is converting well, make sure that you give them a higher percentage payout. You can do subscriptions. In this case, I'm not. That's why I say, you know, make sure you, you do everything. So we've got subscriptions. You can set up your offer trial and everything like that. In this case, I'm not going to be doing that. But if you want to do that, you can always do that. And simply follow the vendor checklist if you're unsure. Quantity, I'm going to leave it blank because I have an intangible, intangible product. So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to include the support address here. and then your support URL whatever it could be your help desk or ticket system if you don't have one here that's fine just put an email address here landing page obviously that's optional if you have a squeeze page a pre-launch page and so forth if you leave this blank this will basically default to the sales page URL here If you enter a squeeze page, then it says send all traffic to the sales page after launch date. So after this date, basically the pre-launch page will disappear and the traffic will be sent here. And that's a really nice little feature there. I'm going to click on no. And remember you have for the sales page, if your sales page is on the warriorform.com, then you can enter this here in a backup URL here so if the warriorform.com is your sales page URL here enter that here and then the backups here but if you're like me where you're not using the warrior forum simply enter the sales page URL here so in this case since we have not really uploaded the files yet that's fine but you just need to know exactly where you want to upload the files because when we upload the files and we've added the payment link button we need to upload the files to this page so in this case I'm gonna say graphics 101 at this URL check let's see check this out 
rightnow.net slash graphics 101 and of course you want to save that URL delivery method I have a thank you page if you want to upload it just leave that here you're gonna be able to upload your product files on the next page I'm gonna click on thank you and remember it's gonna be in the same folder but it's gonna be this file name so if I click on this and highlight this and just simply copy this over what I need to do is make for sure that it is under this folder here so that's gonna be my thank you page here you can click on here to make your product eligible for the product of the day now this is related to affiliate program here so I'm not going to do anything right now no affiliates allowed currently I'm going to talk about the affiliate program in the last video in video number 10. Now also if you check this JBZoo marketplace you can enter your description and category and subcategory and so forth. In this case I'm not doing dime sales but you can do dime sales if you want to. And then you can also enable second tier affiliate tracking. If you do this this is good for JV brokers and so forth, but I'll talk more about that in the future videos. You can integrate it with an autoresponder and external program integration for advanced features. But, but for the basics, that's it. We're done, and we can simply click on Save Product. Okay, great. So after I click on the Save Product or Add Product, you can see the product here. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the buy buttons and add them to your sales page.